Can you speak in other tongues? Mashetele ba 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 ba. Lege braga do kasantele bahanda da 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 bosh. Lift your voice and speak in other tongues. Mashetele ba 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 ba. Father, thank you for the opportunity to be here this morning. Ma lege bo satele braga de kasante. Mashetele ba 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 ba. Ma lege ge braga zota ya babandi. Kalia gadanti. Ma shata ya ba 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 ba. Ma lege braga zota ya ba 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 ba. Ma lege braga zota ya bosh. Ma lege braga zota ya ba 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 ba. Ma laga braga zota le bo 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 bo. Ma lege brahanda na 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 ba. Ma shata ya ba 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 ba. Kalia gabandi. Shatele ba 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 ba. Lege braga zota ya braga zanta ya ba ha. Ma shatele bo 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 bo. Elege ge 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 ge. Ma shata ya ba 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 ba. Ma lege bahande le braga zota ya ba. Elege braga zanta le braho ma shanta li. Ma lege ge ge braga zota ya ba 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 ba. Shana na 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 na. Ma lege braga zota ya ba 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 ba. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. First Corinthians fifteen thirty six. Hallelujah. Are you alive this morning? What a foolish question. When you put a seed into the ground, it does not grow into a plant unless it dies first. And what you put in the ground is not the plant that will grow. What you put in the ground is not the plant that will grow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you put 1,000 in the ground, it's not 1,000 that will grow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you put service in the ground, it's not service that will grow back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because God gives your seed another body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then God gives it the new body he wants it to have. God is the one that decides the harvest you have. And this is harvest time. Somebody declare that this is harvest time. You don't need to wait for your neighbor because it might not be harvest time for them. They might have not been sowing seeds since January. Oh my God. Maybe they were not, they've not been sowing seeds. So you cannot compare yourself with them. Say, I receive it that this is my harvest time. And I decree and declare. I can't hear your voice for one, some reason. Say, I decree and declare by the power in the name of Jesus that God gives my seed of money, my seed of service, my seed of diligence, my seed that I've sown towards God's people in a good way. I decree that the Lord gives it another body in the name of Jesus according to what he wants for me. Open your mouth and say according to what the Lord wants for me. I can't hear you. I say Lord according to what he wants. I receive the seed in another form, my seed that I have sown, my seed of righteousness. My leg I decree and declare that this is harvest time for me. I decree and declare that my seed will not be delayed. In Jesus' name we are praying. Your prayer shows how much you trust God. Don't say, I've been praying, I've been coming for DP. Don't come for DP and be dragging. It's better you stay home. Don't come for DP and because pastor is not here, you don't pray properly. God is not mocked. He's wondering, oh, so pastor, your prayer is hitched on whether pastor comes or not. Deception. You are deceived. You can't, you, can't, you can't be blessed that way. No matter who is here and who is not here, God is here. Yes. Is God not here? Yes. So I will hold on to God. That's why your prayers are not working because you, you are holding on to, oh, if pastor here, then they, 
the prayer will work. No, don't put pastor in trouble because he didn't teach you that. How many know he didn't teach us that? So the same intensity, the same way you'll be shouting when pastor is there, that's the same way you're supposed to shout. That's the same intensity. Not that you'll be dragging, and you're coming from the back. It was as if there were only two people in the auditorium. Don't show up in God's presence empty-handed. You didn't show up with your prayer. You didn't show up with your worship. Don't leave it at home. If you want to stay at home, stay home and do it properly. If you are coming here, give it the best. When you give 30%, how much do you think you will get back? He says, whatever a man sows, the same he will reap. God cannot be mocked. Do not be deceived. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Decree and declare with me. Say, this is harvest time for me. In the name of Jesus, my seed will not be delayed. I receive harvest from what I've been sowing since January. Let the heavens open. Let it come rushing in. Let it come rolling in. I will not have a brass heaven over me. My earth under me will not be iron. In the name of Jesus, I said I will not have a heaven that is brass. My produce for me. I've been sowing since January. I've been speaking since January. I've been declaring since January. Therefore, there is manifestation now. Body. Let my seed not just die into the ground. In Jesus' name we are prayed. We are still on that prayer. A lot of us have been sowing since January. Even over the years, there are some seeds that you have sown that you have not reaped yet because you did not call it forth. This morning, your seed will not die. In the name of Jesus, your seeds of prayer, your seeds of service, your seeds of commitment, your seed of diligence, your financial seed, it will not die in the ground. It produced for you another body, a bountiful harvest. Say, I call for my bountiful harvest. It's coming in now. My seed will not die in the ground. What I eat this morning, call it forth. Ephesians 3.20. Now to God, they said that it doesn't depend, the body, the seed does not depend on God, but the body depends on God. I have a part to play. I am the one that sows the seed, but God now gives the seed I sow another body. But I have the duty to call it forth if I'm not seeing it. How can I invest and then I don't see the returns and I keep quiet? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now to God, who is able, all glory to God, who is able, through 
his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we ask. So God says, this is the time of the year that I do infinitely more than you have asked. Yes. Don't throw in the tower. Don't give up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't grow weary. Receive infinitely more than you have given. Say, Lord, I receive infinitely more than I've given. Beyond my effort, I get results. Beyond my efforts. In 2023, I get results. I will not go unrewarded. My, my seed will not go without a harvest. My seed of service will not go without a harvest. Shut up. provide all I need. And then I will always have everything I need. And left over to share with others. Is that you in the building this morning? Says, so Father, I decree and declare that in the name of Jesus, in this time of the year, you will generously provide all I need. In the name of Jesus, and I will always have Everything I need, and I will have left over to share with others. I have no lack, I have abundance in the name of Jesus. I have no lack, I have abundance. Finances hit my life from everywhere possible in the name of Jesus. I will not sow in vain, I will not pray in vain in the name of Jesus. My labor in the Lord will not. this 
house. Into this church, I call for the boldness from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west, from the four edges of the earth. I call for the boldness, supernatural abundance. Let it hit us in the name of Jesus. name we are praying. Mark 4.24. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I decree over you that in this season of this year, more than ever before, you will have super abundance. I'm talking to you especially if you have nothing in your accounts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't have much. But the Lord said I will supernaturally sort you out in the name of Jesus. Let the heavens over you, let it open. Let the earth under you bring forth abundance. You don't need to understand how it's going to come, but it's going to come. Be fully funded. Hey, be fully loaded. Be fully funded. Let the funds come in. Shot against you. Let the double doors be open to you in the name of Jesus. Since my heavens are opened and the earth under me is bringing forth increase, abundance, enlargement, expansion, greatness of increase. In Jesus' name. Then he added, pay close attention to what you hear. The closer you listen, the more understanding you will be given. So what I'm doing, I'm, I'm listening. What, that's my part. I'm listening for more instructions. Don't be bothered about how you'll be sorted out. God will sort you out. The harvest will come in. But I'm listening for instructions. Lord, what's the next thing? Because... Harvest time is also seed time. So when the harvest comes in, what am I supposed to do? Start listening for that. Pay close attention to what you hear. The closer you listen, the more understanding you'll be given. And you will even receive more. And you will receive even more. So those who listen to my teaching, Jesus talking, more understanding will be given. So those who listen. Because you listen, receive understanding. Amen. Understanding about your life, understanding about your finances. About, let me tell you something. You need understanding for 2024. Say, so Lord, I receive understanding for 2024. How to run successfully. I don't want to drag like 2023. How to run successfully. But for those who are not listened or listening, for those who are not listening, there are those that don't listen, even though they come to church. They are distracted. They will be taken away. What, even what little understanding they have will be taken away from them. Even what little understanding they have, what they think they know will be taken away. So there's no time that you should not listen. Don't say it's November, I've been listening since January. What did they, what all the things I did, what did God do? It's time to listen. The fact that you are not even saying much, you should listen. There's something you are not hearing, and God is talking. There's something you are not hearing, and God is talking. God always has solutions. 26, Jesus also said, the kingdom of God is like a farmer. The kingdom of God is like a farmer who scatters seed on the ground <laughs> since January. <laughs> Scattering seed. If you have not been scattering seed, don't expect harvest to. That's the problem. It comes in, you scatter. Jesus also said, night and day. He scatters seed night and day. There's no time he does not sow. 
He did, he's not counting the seed he sowed in, in March. Maybe I sowed in March. So I'm not, I'm not seeing the harvest. I'm waiting. You don't stop. You keep scattering. Touch your neighbor and say, don't stop. Keep scattering. While he's sleeping or awake, he has sown the seed while he was awake. He, he, because you can't be sleeping and be scattering seed. He was aware of the fact that he was scattering seed. After he listened and heard, he moved to scattering. He heard the instruction, move to scattering. Night and day he was doing it. While he's sleeping or awake, the seed sprouts and grows. When you sow your seed, your seed does not need you again to make it grow, even though you declare words. But God, but the Bible says, but he does not understand how it happens. The seed sprouts and grows. Yes, you declared what? Yes, you watered the seed. Yes, you pass up prayed over your seed. But you don't really know how. He does not understand how it happens. The earth produces the crops on its own. First the leaf blade pushes through. Then the head of the wheat are formed and finally the grain ripens. So some of us, we had enjoyed first the leaf blade, the head pushes through. Then we, we enjoyed some other parts. You don't get all your harvest at once. No, you don't. There are some seeds that you have sown. Your children are the ones that will reap it fully. You reap some, but fully. Verse 29. And as soon as the grain is ready, there's a time that the seed is ready. Hallelujah. It has formed into a full grain. The farmer comes and harvests seeds with a sickle. This morning we have come to harvest our seed with a sickle. Say, I've come to harvest my seed with a sickle. For harvest time has come. I don't know about you, but me. <laughs> my delay is harvest time. Harvest time has come for Modeli. Put your name there. This year will not end in vain. I will harvest a bountiful harvest. My harvest time has come. In the name of Jesus. Over that relationship that you have labored, over your children, your harvest time has come. Over that job, your harvest time has come. Over that finances. If you say it, that's what you will see. You say, my harvest time has come. I will not labor in vain. I will not sow in vain. I have come and showed up this morning with my sickle and I'm going to put it in. And it's coming for me in the name of Jesus. My harvest time has come. What will it cost you to declare throughout today, my harvest time has come? Somebody is asking you, why are you excited? My harvest time! But we can't see anything. I don't need to see rain. I don't need to see wind. My harvest time has come. Let it come now. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. What will it cost you for you to declare for the next one month, my harvest time has come? Don't, don't, don't declare it in your mind. Declare it open. Outrightly. I don't have to have anything in the account to declare my harvest time has come. Because they didn't say it was man that would decide when my grain is ready. Hey, it's God that decides. And God says, my harvest time has come. It has come. It will not be delayed. It will not be denied. In the name of Jesus, financial harvest coming. Peace coming. Joy coming. Expansion coming. Anything that belongs to me anywhere, let it come in bountifully. You need to go and declare that in your atmosphere. Isaiah 37, last scripture. Isaiah 37. The reason why I'm confident that my harvest time has come is because I trust God. 
that he's not a cheat. He's not an unjust God. Isaiah 37, verse 31. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you who are left in Judah, you who have escaped the ravages of the siege. Let me tell you something. What people went through this year, we had nobody supposed to be here in Nigeria anymore. But thank God for God. The, 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 the sustainer of the saints, the sufficiency of the saints. You are still driving to the fueling station and you are still buying fuel. In another country, people would have started walking around in mass they just, because there's no point. God still made a way. Where there seems to be no way. God is in the business of when they lock the door, he, he, he kicks it open and says, my children must go in. The ravages of the seeds will put roots down in your own soil. You have gone through famine, but even in the midst of famine, you will put roots down in your own soil, and then they will grow up and flourish. This is flourishing time. I'm not talking to the people that have not been doing anything, no. That's why some people say amen is going down. If this season begins to flourish, they said that you'll be disgraced and defeated, but begin to flourish. They said that bill will not be paid, but begin to flourish. You will have more than enough. You will be expanding on every side. You will enlarge on every side. This, this is a time where you will make room for more. You will make room for more. Can I have that scripture? You will make room for more. You will make room for more. You will build an addition. You will build an addition. You thought you will not have enough, but you are building an addition. In the name of Jesus, this is flourishing that time. Say, this is my flourishing time. This is my abundant season. This is my harvest time. Every demon in hell, you better hear me this morning. Get your filthy hands off my abundance. I receive increase of greatness and comfort in me on every side. Isaiah 40 verse 1. Ma, Lega, don't stop praying. Don't stop praying. <laughs> comfort, comfort, my people, says your God. Verse 2. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem. Tell her that her sad days are gone. Yeah. Say my sad days are gone. My not enough days are gone. My poverty days are gone. My lack days are gone. And my sins are pardoned. Yes, the Lord has punished her twice over for her sins. But verse 3, the Bible says, listen, it's the voice of the one shouting. Clear the way through the wilderness for the Lord. This morning we came to clear the way. Clear the way. Poverty clouds. Enough is enough. Make a straight highway through the wasteland for our God. Fill the valleys and level the mountains hills. Straighten the curves and smooth out the rough places. Every valley in your life, let it be filled this morning. Go back to verse 4. Every valley, let it be filled. We level it every mountain of obstruction, everything that is delaying that thing to come in, we level it in the name of Jesus. We level the mountains and the hills. We straighten out the curves. We smooth out the rough places in your life. We smooth out the rough places in your life. In the name of Jesus, say the rough places in my life is smoothing out. 
Verse 5. It says, then the glory of the Lord will be revealed. This morning, let the glory of the Lord be revealed. Everything covering the glory of the Lord in your life. Let the glory of the Lord be revealed. And everyone around you, your family extended, they will see it in the name of Jesus. You will share your testimony. Even the ones you don't share, people will hear about it. In the name of Jesus. This is your season of flourishing. This is your season of expansion. This is your season of greatness. This is your season of enlargement. Harvest time has come. Lift your hands and give him praise.